I've always said that if you are going to use cutting edge systems like Arch Linux or Arch Based, sooner or later you're going to get cut. Okay, well this is just a joke. This is what happens when, when you are not too friendly with a box cutter. It was a stupid mistake. Uh, I'm lucky it wasn't worse. It looks bad, uh, but I don't feel any pain. Hopefully I, th this will heal in about two weeks or so, which will bring us really at the end of, at the end of this year. So this will probably be the last podcast uh, for this year. We will do one more live show scheduled for this Friday. If you'd like to join us, it is a fundraiser for Feeding America dot org 9 p.m eastern uh friday this friday as you watch this podcast listen to this podcast so yeah um i cut my finger um first time this has happened i went to the local what's called express care there were two uh two beautiful wonderful nurses helping me out they were so they were so nice i, I gave them the finger <laughs> Anyway, they were fantastic, so God bless all the uh, healthcare workers, frontline workers out there. You, 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 you guys and gals are amazing. Thank you. I, sh I should be okay. Anyway, a uh, li little bit of tech news. Uh, those of you who use the Roku, HBO Max is coming to Roku. I, I tried one of the Rokus. Uh, I found it to be not as responsive kind of laggy uh, compared to what I use now with uh, Xfinity's Comcast Xfinity. So uh, Roku is nice. Uh, I, there might be a, a newer version, a faster version of the Roku. So for those of you who are using Roku, HBO Max will be coming to Roku. For those of you who use Spotify app, NPR shows are now available on Spotify worldwide. I just got word that Google has bought a company that turns your old Windows 7 PC well into a Chrome OS machine. Google bought Neverware. Those of you who are trying to revive older machines or maybe uh, you know Chromebooks that are end of life support, you can install the uh, the free. There is a free version of the cloud ready uh, software. So Google has bought the company called Neverware. Now. Neverware basically is has been able has allowed uh, you know people users schools businesses and so on to turn uh, you know outdated PCs convert them uh, and Macs to convert them into Chromebooks with cloud ready software. I, have, I haven't tried this myself, but again the nice thing about this is that you can extend the life of a computer uh, that well that would be considered uh, obsolete. So I think that's good news. So again Google has acquired Neverware and it's becoming an official Chrome OS uh, release and will become an, an official Chrome OS uh, release. Linux Mint 20.01 the beta is now available for download. It just popped up, came up on the uh, the main download servers. I believe I got this notification yeah, yesterday. So if you want to take a look at the latest Linux Mint 20.1, you can now take it for a quick spin. In case you haven't noticed, CentOS is gone. It's going to be replaced with something called Rocky Linux. Hey, yo, Adrian. Hey, hey, Rocky. And finally, as you may have heard, vaccines are starting to roll out here in the United States, beginning with healthcare uh, frontline workers. I think it's great news. Hopefully, with uh, you know, with with technology helping us beat this nasty COVID. 19 virus hopefully we can get back to normal here within you know six months to a year maybe sooner we'll see so that's all i have for this uh quick podcast uh, i'm going i need to go out and shovel snow we are having a snowstorm here in ohio oh man i can just feel my finger throbbing in the cold anyway yeah so that's what i need to do so be safe out there drive carefully and I'll catch you on the next live one. So to all my friends, I say arrivederci.